Margaret uh, uh, Cahirley. Uh, Minister, thanks for, the, for outlining the, and, and summarising the bill. It is a short bill. It is simply to establish the, the uh, citizens' assemblies and for two very important issues, I might add, and one relating to, to gender equality, to gender pay gap, um, and all other elements that go with it, and particularly looking at, the, at Article 41.2 and how that, whether that should be removed and indeed or amended, but specifically looking at the role of those who care and carers and parents and in relation to their interaction with children, um, parental care, parental leave. It, it's a very important area uh, to be looked at in, in, in modern Ireland here today. And I think in general terms, criticisms aside of the Citizens' Assembly, it's actually, it has provided a very good fora for, uh, for teasing through in great detail um, important issues and matters of the day, but also looking at, looking at where potential pitfalls may be. And I would just say to people as well, for those who may have a particular view about it, that this is an advisory assembly. The doll is the, is the citizens' assembly, and that, is the, that has primacy. But I actually think it's right and proper and actually very useful in many instances to consult. Um, I think firstly, the, certainly on the gender equality issue, it is very important uh, in a modern society here that we make sure that, that we provide uh, the best of opportunities for all our citizens, regardless of their gender, their background, their, their creed, uh, or sexual orientation. And I think we can always be working on that. So to have a diverse group of citizens selected at random from across the country to consider uh, these matters is certainly something that I and Fianna Fáil welcome and fully support. I would ask, Minister, that in your uh, interactions with the the selection um, of citizens, you won't be selecting, obviously an independent company will do so. There were some concerns the last time about regional spread and the fact that certain counties weren't actually represented at all. And I'm just wondering as best as possible that, that some of that feedback that was, that was given the last time would be taken on board. And maybe uh, in your closing remarks, you may have some further information about how random that sample has. You rightly said that, you want to, that we want to make sure that it is a representative spread of, uh, of our citizens in this country. Uh, and that, that means both on, obviously on gender, but on regional spread, on rural, urban, where people live in the country as well. So I know, so basically I've, I've, I, I just maybe you, you, may, you may wish to address, address that further um, and we want to make sure that the, that the group of citizens is as representative as possible. In relation to the mayoralty uh, issue in the Dublin directly elected mayor, just a, it, it has been raised with me by my party colleague and Dublin spokesperson, uh, Deputy John Lahart, that in previous response, I don't know whether it was by yourself or, or Minister for State, John Paul Phelan, that they, they had mentioned that it would be a citizens' convention uh, to, to look at this as opposed to the citizens' assembly, and the difference being obviously that, particularly because a Dublin directly elected mayor, uh, you know, it's significant, it's for our capital, that a citizens' convention would have allowed input from the political uh, parties and from politicians into how we see that being made. Um, I understand that, that's about, that, that, that that was commitment was made in response to a question on the order of business here, and I'm wondering how can we ensure that, that uh, political parties, frankly, who it's, it's our job as politicians, can have input in the, in the process uh, there, and is there a reason why we're going with an assembly as opposed to what was previously stated, a citizens' convention. Again, I say that on the basis of fully understanding that whatever recommendations are, are made under the directly elected mayor, as indeed on the, on the gender and gender equality issue, will purely be advisory and will be recommendations. And maybe you could furthermore say where you see the length of time for this process, when would you see the conventions being established, uh, when will they conclude, and the next step there insofar as their report coming back to, to the Oireachtas and to the Dáil and indeed the Shannon if necessary for further debate and discussion. So what I'm trying to get is, is a view for your timeline for conclusion on what are, and in particularly the first one in, in my own view, in my party's view, a crucially important issue that deserves uh, detailed attention, discussion uh, by 
the Citizens' Assembly, but furthermore, then when it comes back here to the Dáil, uh, that, uh, it, that, that appropriate time is given. With the view, I hope, to giving a commitment that we would be holding a, re a referendum on Article 41.2, which is the Women in the Home Clause in the Constitution, in 2020. And uh, that would certainly be Fianna Fáil's earnest uh, desire that that happens, whether that's, an, uh, whether that's a deletion or an amendment to the, to the existing article that, that is there. I think we will be guided by the Assembly, guided I say, but obviously at the end of the day the Dáil will, will make its decision. So I would, would ask maybe if you could maybe give an update on where you see the timelines from here on in with this bill hopefully passing all stages here in the Dáil today. What's the next step and what's our timeline and can you give a commitment that, that uh, you're committed to holding a referendum on Article 41.2 uh, in 2020. Uh, and I think that we, we should be giving this priority, particularly around uh, early years parental care, to seek to give and facilitate a greater work-life balance and to ensure that there's an equal role for, for both partners in a relationship in, in relation to co-responsibility for care with it, with, within the family. Thank you.